Hey guys, this is Connor Elsie from Elsie Labs and this is the first tutorial in the Jade tutorial series. These tutorials are designed for someone who has prior experience with HTML but no prior experience with the Jade templating engine. You can watch these videos in a linear fashion or simply pick and choose the ones you need at the moment. To learn more about how to set up Jade or how or shit. Hello, this is Connor Elsie from Elsie Labs and this is the first tutorial in the Jade tutorial series. These tutorials are designed from someone who has no prior shit cock. Hello, this is Connor Elsie from Elsie Labs, and this is the first tutorial in the J tutorial series. These tutorials are designed for someone who has prior experience with HTML, but no prior experience with the Jade templating engine. You can watch these videos in a linear fashion, or simply pick and choose the ones that you need at the moment. To learn how to set up Jade, or to learn more about HTML, check the video description. This first video will briefly describe many of Jade's features, and following tutorials will go in depth. Firstly, Jade is concise, meaning that it will typically be shorter than its equivalent HTML. It is also dependent on some white space to separate parent elements from their children, meaning that you can use spaces or tabs, but using both throughout your code will result in a compile error. Mixins are like functions from traditional programming languages. You can use them to dynamically generate content that previously you may have had to write multiple times. For example, this is a mixin named Paragraph that takes two arguments, title and text, and produces the HTML below it, wherever it is called. Don't worry if you don't understand these now, as they will be talked about in much greater depth later in the tutorial series. You can also use logical statements such as if and else to create more dynamic code. Variables such as useDiv are passed in by the server. Loops and iteration are also present in the Jade language, adding once again to your ability to create dynamic content. For example, this loop is similar to a for each loop or an enhanced for loop in languages such as Python or Java. Jade also supports template inheritance. The word block represents a section that can be replaced by a child template. After the extends keyword in a child template and specifying the parent jade file that you would like to extend, you can simply restate the word block and the name of the block and define the content. Another powerful feature of the block and extend in jade is that you can choose not to override the contents of the parent file as it typically would. You can do this by, tip, by explicitly stating whether you would want to prepend your new content or append your new content to the old content. Jade is an extremely powerful extension to HTML and has increased my development speed dramatically. Though it may seem unreadable or daunting at first, I cannot imagine going back. Click the block to go to the next tutorial, or read the description for more information. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will try to answer them. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.